Hi fam, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I will be installing this um, teapot lace closure wig. The quality ciao. So, and thank you so much for the 12k subscribers. So now we are on what road to 15k and then we'll be like road to 20k but i know we'll get this soon so thank you so much guys for your support and to all the new subscribers welcome to the family it means a lot to have you guys here with us and i hope you guys enjoy your stay installing this hair from Don Lily Hair so I've already taken off the wig because I had to customize it it's a teapot closure and they gave me this goodie bag as well which is lashes an edges brush a wig cap I already have one on and some nice cute earrings nice anyway so this is the oh I nearly dropped it this is the hair it's a 24 inch um all right so i'm just gonna cut the lace off now so i don't have to cut it from my head i feel like that's where it's more convenient since this is a closure i need to make sure i'm more careful you know because it's one wrong mistake it's over okay so i'm just gonna start by doing that usual method that i always do which is powder on my lace so it matches my makeup and my skin so you see guys know i use this fit me powder as usual okay let me just try and apply not too much though because it's already a teapot wig i'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the inside so you guys have an idea of what i'm talking about when i say this is a teapot wig so basically that's how it looks on the inside so i can't part any way around here because there is bundles stitched over there so this is how it looks on the inside and i've already put on the powder as you guys can see it matches my skin okay so let me quickly cut off the lace have cut off the lace hey i'm so in a hurry to put this wig on Okay, let me quickly adjust it because I need it tight because it's not a frontal so I need it very tight mm. okay so I have adjusted it so let me just put it on quickly forward okay as you guys can see i don't really need that i'm gonna put on glue even though i don't really need it but oh my glass i'm gonna put on glue the quality mm. Talk about quality, chow. Talk about quality. Okay, I was so scared of this color, and now, <laughs> now I'm not saying much. I'm impressed. I didn't really trust myself to nail colors, but chow. Let me pull up my sleeves because this needs my full attention. Okay, so I'm just going to push back that hair over there so I can glue the wig on with my got to be. I first wanted to use the ghost bond, but I feel like a ghost bond is an emotion, guys. So I'll just use the got to be instead of the ghost bond and... Yeah, we'll see how that's kind of go. 
Okay, I need a mirror. So I'll be looking down at my mirror. So I don't feel like I'm not with you guys. I'm over here, but I need to look down at my mirror. Okay, I need to... I think I need to tie this hair back a bit. I just want to tie it back so it does not disturb me because I can feel so much on my face. Mm. Okay. I'll just tie it back so it doesn't disturb me. Okay, plucking helps, guys. Like, yo, it looks like it's coming out of my scalp. But anyway, now it's time to glue on the wig. This side is a bit dirty, so I'm gonna have to use the other side, guys. Please excuse my least my friend. Yeah. Didn't realize it looked like this. And the last time I used it, I'll just use the other side. Please don't be disgusted by this. I just saw it now. I probably forgot to wash it the last time I used it. Mm. 
Wow. Okay. Oh, this is so dirty, but hey guys, I'm not really gonna. I did not realize, Shem, I really did not. Yeah, I mean, I forgot that I did it I can't go too, too, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can make sure it's nice and flat. So, now I'm going to iron the hair. Okay. I'm just gonna part it into two parts so I can see it from both sides. I'm just gonna use this comb because this one seems to have blue on it. Wow, guys, look here. I'm gonna start from the top. From the top, make it flat. Okay. I gave him wap, wap, wap. You guys, I always feel you never get to see that side of me because I always fast forward the parts. But on this video, since it's a bit short, I don't think I'm going to fast forward any parts from it. Because it's a bit short, so me fast forwarding parts wouldn't make sense at all. I had already straightened this hair from the mannequin hair earlier, so I'm just doing touch ups, you know, to make sure it's sleek. Guys, I don't know why I'm so excited the way I was so nervous because I thought it would not look good on me. I was like, burgundy, I've never ever had that color. Oh, the quality, the weight's just flowing. Mm. Oh, nice shit. Okay, next side. Guys, I need to get myself that heat defense spray for flyaways because I seem to have a lot of flyaways. So guys, with this um, wig, you can also wear it without gluing it on like glueless or you can glue it, it's totally up to you. But I just wanted to glue it so I can melt the lace so it can nicely match my skin. 
so that's why i glued in mine so and i want to keep it on for like a while you know mm, the acrylic it's just flowing like it's just easy to work with because it's flowing okay it's time to reveal the lace foundation okay, so I'll just do a nice line over there your hair wow like wow hey Tuna Tuna watching my video i hope you guys learned how to install a teapot wig i'll leave all the details on the description down below love you all bye <laughs>